What it is. What's up? Yes, I look a mess in this video, but I'm in the middle of a show, so don't judge me. <laughs> oh, so, we just got home. Day two. It is 3.43. And, wow. What a day. <laughs> Wasn't bad. Actually went well. Um, we had two shows today. Well, we usually have we have two shows every single day. So let me just um every day we have two shows. Um, but our call time was six a.m. and uh, we had to drive an hour away. That was our first show, and then we drove an hour back here to perform at one of the places that we actually performed yesterday. But we only did it for half the folks. Then the other half came. So that was interesting. I can't talk about what happened, but there basically it was time for us to load out at the second show. There was some stuff happening with like a parent that wasn't supposed to be there. It was a mess. But I drove us back home, so I didn't get a chance to eat my ice cream. I actually think I may go to Harriet Tubman's grave. It's up here, and it's like two or three minutes away from where I'm living. So now that I have some time, I want to actually go and say what it is. What's up to Harriet Tubman? Like, I want to go to her house, too, but her house is far away from here. But it's not as close to me as her grave is, basically. So I'm going to go to her grave first, and one day I'll go to her house. But yeah, so... I'm Anyways, I'm on change and then, actually, I'm just going to wear this because I'm not wearing this again. This shirt is dirty. I'll take your eyes with me. Hello there. Um, I'm black, if you didn't know. <laughs> no, I'm heading to Harriet Tubman's house now. The houses here are actually really kind of, they have this, I don't know how to explain it, but it gives me like a, a mysterious older, like, do you see this house? I don't want people with addresses, but... A lot of them kind of look similar to this. And they give me like this old kind of feel. And I like it, but I don't know. It's the first time I've been walking in the city. And I'm not going to make a habit of it. Let's just say that. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm going to go where I got to go. Go meet Miss Mamas. And I'm coming back home. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if it's this one or that one. One of these is actually the um, oh, it's this one, the Cayuga Museum of like history and art. I want to go over there. I wonder if it's free to get in or you have to pay. I don't know, but I'll pay. I feel like this city has a lot of interesting history <laughs> that people don't really know about. I, for one, did not know Harriet Tubman's grave was here nor her house had no idea that out of all the places that she could have settled <laughs> she's not in upstate new york but anyhow onward we go so oops, sorry somebody's walking by so apparently this is the martha coffin right right i guess this is a young lady um, and she was the organizer of the 1848 Women's Right Convention, uh, the Underground Railroad Stop, Periodica. So, I believe it's just this street. Yes, Fort, Fort Hill Cemetery. I believe that's where she is. I think it's right up here. I'm not gonna lie, this looks a little creepy. Um, <laughs> I don't even know if this is open. If I walked all the way over here and I can't see Harriet Tubman, we have a problem. I don't know if it's open. It looks closed. Uh, <gasps> Alright, so they're not closed. What I was looking at was that, which is, sorry, closed. But this is the entrance. And so I'm assuming it's over here. Because there's nothing over there. Now, Riz, Mrs. Tubman, I don't know. Yeah, so I won't have to look. But once we figure it out, 
I'll let you know. I don't know if I should walk. I'm thinking I'm gonna rock up there. I just feel like it's disrespectful to walk over people's graves. But I don't know where she is, and I'm gonna find her. Okay, y'all, I'm really getting my Caucasian on right now because I don't do stuff like this. You know, we don't do stuff like this, right? And y'all know who we is when I mention we. Um, but I just decided to just go ahead and walk through here because I feel like it's somewhere up here. Um, one of the young men that was over here actually was telling me about her. He went to her house and um, there's someone, Stuart, Stuart House. I have to do my research because I don't know what he's talking about, but... I told him, ooh, that sounded interesting, because it did sound interesting. So I don't know. I have to look, and I don't know where she is, but uh, I'll keep looking. She has to be in here somewhere. So I'm doing this because I wasn't making any sense. But long story short, I could not find her. So it took me about 30 minutes walking around in circles and circles before I finally called somebody, and they pointed me in the right direction. Harriet Tubman. So this is her grave. Man, was this difficult to find. Um, but I love this. People are leaving her all kinds of stuff. I don't want to step because, I don't know, my knees are shaking. Um, but I love this. Look, they have votes for women. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to cry. But wow. Look at this. Thank you. Thank you. Just thank you. They also have her brother here. Um, sorry, I don't want to step on anybody. Um, <laughs> I mean, I think this is sweet that they have him so close to her. But also, I mean, to have your whole life summed up in brother of Harriet Tubman must kind of suck a little bit. But, um, sir, I'm sure you did a lot of great stuff in your life, okay? Um, I kind of want to read this a little bit. It's beautiful. It's a letter. It says, love joy I think that says peace freedom care thank you for loving and imagining me into existence I love that wow so this is absolutely beautiful <laughs> I just left her grave and these dogs are over here. They go scatter with Jesus out of me like they did the first time. Yeah, there they go. Yeah, brought, brought back at you and your mama. Anyway, um, <laughs> I, so let me wait till they hush. They, clearly they got a lot to say. That must get aggravated. Anyway, um, <laughs> So, I have a thing the spirits in graveyards. I think my grandma told me this. Maybe not. I don't remember. But I have like this weird thing where when I drive through a graveyard, I cut the music off. Unless it's gospel music. Um, but even then, I usually cut it down or off. Because I just feel like it's rude to be playing music in a graveyard. So... Even when you're talking, I don't like to talk loud in the graveyard. I don't know, it's just a weird superstition thing that I've always had. Not that I think anything bad will happen, it's just what I do. Sorry, something, I don't know what that is. I had to call my friend Nicole. Shout out to you, girl. She's one of my castmates. She had been to Harriet Tubman's grave before, and so I basically went walking around in a circle for about 20 minutes, maybe 30, before I actually found it. It was right in my face the whole time. I just thought because she's Harriet Tubman, I just thought it would have been <laughs> huge. I don't know. Like, you see that big thing up there? I thought her grave would be like that. But considering that she's actually buried here, way back then, I doubt she would have had the money to erect something that grand and large. Though it took forever to find it, I'm glad that I found it and that I waited around because I went to the, um, slave plantation in New Orleans with some of my best friends. Shout out to y'all. And that was an extremely emotional experience. If you guys want to see that, I may actually 
post that on here. I don't know how much footage I got because I was crying the whole time. But um, I didn't cry at Harry Tubman's grave. I just really just took a second to sit down and center myself and just give her thanks and thank God for everything that I have that I am yet to get. It was just really a self-reflection time for me. So, oop, don't hit me. Don't hit me, girl. Don't hit me. Okay. <laughs> Thought I was about to join Ms. Tubman. Anyways, yeah, so this is the entrance. This is why I thought it was closed, because this is closed, and that over there is closed also. Anyhow, all right. The fun is over. Back home, we walk. I'm tired, y'all. I'm so tired and hot. You see this, man? I don't think a human was meant to sweat this much. And these people keep looking at me. <sighs> Anyways, all right, I'll see you guys when I get home.